Hi, I'm Del from DA Vincent Photography, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple but effective rimlet shot with a little bit of assistance from my friend Manuel here. Every time I upload a rimlet shot, I get people asking me how to do it. So I have done a very simple budget version of this before, but I thought I'd show you with a bit more professional gear involved. Really is very simple, all we have Either side, two PixPro City 400s, which I have mounted strip boxes to with a grid just to focus the light down, stop too much spill going anywhere. Above, I've got a PixPro collapsible beauty dish mounted with a speed light, which is the 580 Mark II. This doesn't have a grid in this instance because I thought to be a little bit different, I'd like to illuminate some shapes on the background. So. It's high enough that it's going to give a little bit of rim on the head and the tops of the shoulders, but it's still going to be throwing backwards as well and creating some interesting shadows and highlights on the backdrop. Really, that is as simple as it gets. The only things to be careful are to keep your lights behind the subject. The more in front of the subject you go, the deeper the highlight will become. But really, you can just play around with it to get the, the rims to the depth that you want. So if I just pop these on, uh, I'm afraid the fans will probably kick in and make the sound a little bit less than optimal. They did. Now with those on, you can clearly see the rims that are formed down either side. And you can adjust those rims, as I say, just by moving the angle of the box and the position of the box to make the rim larger or smaller. Now, you can't see the top, of course, because that is a speed light which doesn't have a modeling lamp. Um, but as I say, it really is just to put a, a slight highlight so you don't get any dark patches. But I can show you those with a step-by-step -step photo now. First up, we have the key light, which was to camera right. Next, we have just the camera left strip box. And finally, we have just the overhead light, which as you can see, just fills in those little highlights on the head and shoulders, but also illuminates the background. And then we can add them all together. So with everything set up, we can now let Manuel have a well-earned rest and replace him with a proper model. As you can see, it really is a simple one. I hope you'll give it a go. I look forward to seeing some of your results. And I keep getting told that I've got to remember to say, don't forget to subscribe and like, and yeah, I don't care. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. 